To see how teaching hospitals train physicians for a career in internal medicine, we're going to visit with Dr. Jonathan Zimmerman, Head of Internal Medicine Medical Education at Oakwood Hospital and Medical Center. Ever since I was seven years old, I wanted to become a doctor. I know it's the cliche, classic story that you hear about all the time. Um, so I really just wanted to help people and I wanted to help, you know, the poor of the poor. We're literally looking for only three qualities when we bring students in to begin their residency program. We're looking for enthusiasm, we're looking for empathy and self-discipline. Those are three characteristics that are very difficult to find, whether it's faculty or residents or anybody for that matter. The medicine we can teach them. Um, and, but if they, if they have those qualities, they'll learn it so quickly and they'll be wonderfully passionate physicians at the end of their training. I initially wanted to become a pediatrician, but through medical school and then doing core rotations, um, I thought pediatrics was not for me, so I chose internal medicine to encompass um, everything. As well as, I also am fascinated with the human body, so helping people, human body, put that together, and <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I remember in my applications to college and thinking about medicine, I had no idea what it entailed, so it really looks like this. You go to college, then you go to medical school, and med school is four years, and then after medical school, depending on what specialty you decide to train in. If, for instance, it's internal medicine, there are three years of additional training under supervision of people who are faculty like myself and others. So a typical week would probably be, um, depending on what month you're in and what floor you're on, um, I would say an average of maybe 60 to 70 hours. Um, there are times where when you're on an elective month, it's a nine to five and you don't do weekends. So that is kind of, you know, you're easy, nice, you know, you can do things outside of, <laughs> outside of medicine to enjoy yourself. You will care for patients in the hospital, care for patients in the clinic, actually care for patients in between as well and you'll have a variety of exposures providing actual patient care, always supervised. After internal medicine training, there are literally dozens of subspecialties. So um, cardiology training is an additional three years, uh, endocrinology training to take care of patients with diabetes and other endocrinologic problems is another three years or so. There's rheumatology, there's all sorts of things. My first day, it was tough and painful. Um, <laughs> but you you get adjusted to it very quickly. So I want to say that it takes maybe about a week or two um, to get adjusted to the schedule, let alone when you're first starting as an intern, getting you know adjusted to the different floors and the different people and who the different consultants are. Um, but I would say it takes typically a week to two weeks to get adjusted. If they're interested in subspecialty training in cardiology, for instance, or pulmonary or critical care, we work very hard to get them that position at fellowship elsewhere. So we have residents all over the country. We have them at, we've had residents go to Harvard, to Duke, to Cleveland Clinic, to Tulane, uh, all the way out to the East and West Coasts. And they will train in their subspecialty and then usually become faculty or private practitioners in that specialty. Every day we're challenged by the residents and the medical students. You know, we're an affiliate with Wayne State's Medical School. And so we're rife with their exceptionally sophisticated, diverse student population that we often ask them to develop a curriculum and teach it to us. And those are experiences that I don't think they get, they traditionally don't get elsewhere, that grows them as a person, and they're much more likely then to hit the ground running when they graduate. It has allowed me to become comfortable in being able to practice in a Middle Eastern country because I feel like I'm more culturally aware and culturally sensitive towards that population. So it's kind of my segue into practicing international. Our residents are with us for three years, but we're here forever. And so every year we learn, we get better and better at teaching. I can't be a good teacher unless I really know my material and myself and the students. And so I become a better doctor every year as well. And it's an incredibly fulfilling profession. There's, there's nothing better than seeing your students grow. It's not easy. It's definitely a hard progression. and. It's a lot of hard work, it's a lot of dedication, it's a lot of you know, studying ever since you know, you're an undergrad to try to get to where uh, we are right now. Um, but with you know, the sweat, the tears, the exams that we have to take, all the studying, it's definitely something that is so completely worth it. And I wouldn't change it for the world. <laughs>
As we wrap up today's Champions of Care and our focus on medical education, I want to thank Dr. Valerie Parisi, Dean of the Wayne State University School of Medicine, Dr. Michael Gahabe, Dr. Craig Glines, and Dr. Jonathan Zimmerman. For more information on medical education at Oakwood Healthcare, visit oakwood.org or call 1-800-543-WELL. Thank you so much for joining Champions of Care. We'll see you next time.